This problem has a one kilogram object colliding with a heavier two kilogram object, and after they hit, they combine together and move up the inclined plane, which causes them to stop. They are going to have three velocities as they travel. The original velocity of the 1.0 kilogram mass, the new velocity after they hit, and this new velocity of the combined mass will be what they start moving up with the slope with until they have their final velocity, when they stop. Our goal is to find d, the distance the combined masses move up the slope. The first thing we want to do is find the velocity of the masses after the inelastic collision. Here is our given data. We want to find the formula to find the final velocity in a head-on, completely inelastic collision where the second mass has a velocity of zero. This is the formula in which we want to substitute our values. We can now solve for v. The velocity that we start climbing the slope with is 3.33 meters per second. Now we are going to need to find the variables for the mass traveling up the slope. The original velocity is 3.33 meters per second. After they move up the slope and come to a stop, our final velocity is zero. The force slowing them down is gravity, but only part of gravity is acting on the object since they are moving at an angle. We need to find the x component of gravity, so we draw a force triangle. The x component of gravity is 9.8 times the cosine of 53. Instead of using d as a variable, we will use x naught and x. Let's list all of our variables for the second part of the problem. We are solving for x and don't know t, so we have to decide which motion equation to use. This equation will allow us to solve for x. Since v and x naught are equal to zero, we will eliminate them from the equation when we isolate x. Now we can plug in our values, and we can find our answer. The objects will travel up the slope 0.94 meters before coming to rest.